Okay. So you need a two and a half. 36? <laughs> <laughs> it's, read it out, though. 43 inches 43. to do a 360 windmill. Right here is Vince Connor with his first stop. I like Vince Carter, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> Biscuits and tea. 30, 30, 34. 30, 30. And the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Period. Spirit. 90, 99. Amen. Boom. Amen. Father, Father, uh, what are you calling yourself? Father B. Millie? <laughs> no, sir. I'm Professor B. Millie. I always will be. And uh, that's that. You just go to church and sing hymns every once in a while <laughs> just to remind yourself. <laughs> that's my favorite My favorite thing about uh, Catholic Church is how the, like that one priest, he'll always try to sing everything. And like even if the words like don't even go together at all or what he just like sings it all together you know what i'm talking about his homily or like like the... sometimes the priest just read it and then sometimes the priest oh, like, yeah. sing <laughs> everything and i remember like in yeah, high school right. we do all school mass and there'd always be this one priest and everyone would be like god dang it man this guy's gonna sing the whole freaking time it takes like 15 minutes longer than if you just read it like you know quickly but yeah is that a public school no i went to private school my last two years okay. of high school I, was, I, th I just thought that was going to be weird if that was a public school going to... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe in Kansas, though. Maybe in Kansas. Yeah. I know. That's why I thought <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> public school that allows that stuff. Are they still not teaching evolution and all that stuff? That's our public school, right? That was Kansas that made that popular. Yeah, I don't think I knew about we, evolution until high school. <laughs> we hid it from you. <laughs> Intelligent design. There was a God, and God made everything. The end. Ugh. That's it. It's for some reason. Um. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. Well, okay. I will. I will go before you go into this thing. So Tyler was explaining how uh, he we forgot to use per diem uh, <laughs> in Washington. So you were listening. I didn't and, think you were listening. And then, uh, then what happened is that I ended up paying for his meal ah. actually and his mom and his future wife and for myself ah. and for some appetizers and for some beers how and good were those appetizers the per diem. they were good they were good i'm not done my story yet you see b and then because he forgot and then you see it was well over the per diem brand <laughs> it was well over well over the per diem for the day didn't say anything not until now. Not until now when I was being called an idiot for having forgotten <laughs> that we all went out to the restaurant that he took us to, which we had problems at that restaurant, by the way, too. I don't remember what was going on. The The artwork was weird. The What was weird about that? There was the something first weird one? at that place. It's a really... Where was that fancy restaurant? It's a we famous restaurant in D.C. It? Are you talking about the place where I got the crab sandwich? I think, yeah, I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, what, what was the issue? Like, it was like we couldn't, there was. we couldn't get our order in or like it took forever. I don't know. Something did happen though. I don't remember anything. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah something happened. I don't know what exactly. I remember, like Victoria was upset. She was frustrated with the situation. Um, some Was it the food? Was it, she's allergic to shellfish. I don't know if, no, the food was good. The food was definitely good. Food is good. What? I don't remember what happened. I don't know. I don't either. But T Titos, I want you to do me a favor right now, uh, so we can continue. As Tyler's on a roll right now. Why don't you pull up Titos? Uh, so everybody here on Biscuits and Tea is obviously huge fans of uh, our YouTube channels. Why don't we go ahead and pull up GK Golaremi and share the screen for us, Titos? Uh oh. We lost him. Uh oh. Titos, are you there? Oh no. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, so pull up GK Golaremi. All right, is. go ahead and zoom into that. Zoom into our latest video. What? Uh, dude, that was ladies me and to post gentlemen. Story. All right, I'll take that down. Ladies Jesus. and gentlemen, oh, no. Tyler Back has posted a 
New record. I think you should leave it. I think we should leave it. A four sec, and we should just put, well, let's just play into it. Just put a thumbnail up of, and just put, make a joke out of it. Tyler Back, everyone, is he's hopped into the YouTube story game. Uh, see, before the podcast started, he was calling everyone idiots, and uh, wasn't going to say anything. Was just going to let it let it, just let him know let that he posted ride. a story by accident. Just let it ride. What he did though is show an, a brilliant top hand save. It's four seconds long, three seconds long, and he uploaded it as our latest video. So that is round of applause there for just That shit's going to really, get like yeah. four million views to watch. It'll fucking <laughs> yeah. pop off. What is it at? We need 3.5K. 3,000. Is that what? Uh, look like 3.5K uh, uh, or something. Three or four, yeah, yeah, three or 4,000. So I noticed it last night and just laughed at, while I was eating dinner. I just laughed. I, did, I could have told him to take it down. I could have taken it down myself. But I just thought, this is what we do at Golarangi. So we're not taking it down because there are already too many people commenting. Like, we're too yeah. big now. Like, we're yeah. too big for that stuff to just disappear and then no one to notice. Everybody noticed already. <laughs> so we need to just run with it. We have to actually let it ride. So yeah. we need a thumbnail where you put, like, world's greatest save – or something. You need to just make it look like the rest of the the videos. <laughs> four second, four second save. That's so funny, dude. Cody Ko, he sometimes yeah. he uploads videos like that that are like five or six seconds long, and they're pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. I saw the one with the no the no laughing challenge or. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, a lot. Yeah. It's been a long time, yeah. but like he chuckles and then it just ends. Yeah, yeah. I want to see. I want to see what the rankings are of this video. That's hilarious. But anyway, all right, B, so you were going to say something while he's looking up the rankings of the greatest video in goalkeeping history. Oh, yeah. Um, well, the first thing I was going to say when Tyler was interrupting you, I was saying the new way that you can stop someone from interrupting you is going, excuse me, excuse me, I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Oh, shit. Excuse me, I'm speaking. <laughs> all right. That was the funniest shit of the fucking debate, dude. And I'm, I'm a Kamala fan, but that was fucking hilarious. Was that, yeah, I don't, are people okay? I've only seen a clip. I didn't pay attention. I've been too busy to this time around, and I know the presidential. I mean, like, oh, they don't like that, Trump huh? supporters really don't like it. Some guy, uh, I can't remember his name, but he's a Fox reporting guy. He got banned from Fox, actually. They banned him because he called her a something something biatch, you know, and it got retweeted, and they actually, they, got they banned him, so. Well, so who won the debate, or who won? I know I don't really. Who are they saying? Nobody. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just like whatever side you're on is who won. Like, I don't, I don't know. It used to be you could know who won the debate based on we would like say like, oh, this person brought up better arguments. Now we're just like. No, it was just like what? all it was was just chaos. Like it, the thing started and everyone just started screaming at each other and tweeting all these crazy things about each other, and then it ended, and then. <laughs> Everyone's just angry, and then that's pretty much it. I mean, I think I think you know Biden and Harris won the debates. I mean, just purely on the fact they don't talk over the moderator or continually just break the rules nonstop. I mean, that's how he got there, though. See, that's part of the part of the problem, right? Like, yeah, he has to do that in order to if. What would the world be like with a, a really well-behaved... We would all actually be scared, I think, Yeah. if no. he just started... No, please, go ahead. Go ahead, sir, <laughs> Mr. Biden, if you want to go ahead. Like, we'd be like, he's going to launch a nuke yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> like, he's going to wake up. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, Tyler, what's your take? Video. Uh, oh. I'm just, I was reading the comments of that video. That's so funny that <laughs> it has like more comments than I think the last one I posted. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I was just like, let's... This is... This is one to let ride. I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried that the watch time is going to be down on it for average, though. <laughs> <laughs> if what if people? What if we see there's somebody who doesn't make it through three seconds? Like I would, I would want to like, I would want to find you. You couldn't, you couldn't last three seconds on a goalie. Mm -hmm. Say you're a goalie and you couldn't last for the save. Set an ad before and after that video, please. <laughs> If we could do one in the middle. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. You have to watch the mid-roll ad. Yeah, mid-roll, you have to watch it non-skippable and then a non-skippable after. 
Is this going to be like a new way to cheat YouTube where it just posts like a save? I don't know, just... This just... gets all these views, <laughs> yeah. It kind of pisses me off that uh, that it still gets like three and a half thousand views. It's a three second video. And then like you can put an eight video video up like underneath their algorithm rules and all that kind of stuff and it'll get the same views. So what the, what's up with that? You'd think that it wouldn't push YouTube it. YouTube is... I mean, is it? Will people watch it? Are people watching it more than once, though? Is this like TikTok of YouTube? Mm -hmm. People are pressing play again. Oh, let me see that. How to do it? Which push did you jump off of? I should put together. I have enough stuff. I could put together a saves video. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe get a few more. You can put some of Will saves in there too. It'll get more views. Got some of the some of the saves that I just made. <laughs> Holy shit! Not not uh, fake saves either. Like I I was getting pissed off uh, at my servers like Tyler does, which is dumb. <laughs> this is just dumb because these guys are just taking shots and they're trying to shoot in the corner. And sometimes it go it goes over. Of course it goes over. Like they have to aim for this little tiny spot and it's going over. And I'm just freaking out, talking about how shitty the servers are. <laughs> And it's so funny. I made I made some good saves though too. Do you think Knox purpose purposefully is that a word? Yeah. Purposefully yeah. lost that footage. Yes. Those saves yes. that I was making. He did. He lost all that footage on purpose because he did not score a single goal on you on like thirty <laughs> shots, and they were all like really freaking good shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That was it. Was only the only. It has nothing to do with my goalkeeping ability. It has everything to do with my striker and shooting capability yeah. of me guessing guessing right yeah. you know where he was going and giving me enough time to get there so it was weird and so it was probably weird shooting against it but i definitely made some really good saves yeah. and then they mysteriously disappeared no i don't tyler i don't think you i think you really underestimate how much it helps field players play goalkeeper because they know the mind of a striker or a midfielder and that's you know i just i just filmed a really good piece yesterday for gk goal remy on uh, how you can use FIFA Arena to help train yourself. Um, FIFA Arena? Can I can I understand a, what that is? This is a practice field you go on, and uh, you just one on one like a field player versus a goalkeeper. And really, all you know the hypothesis is that you go in there and you you play as the field player, and you can read the body movements. And you know, as a goalkeeper, you can kind of learn that way without having to strain your muscles. You're not having to take those dives on your shoulders and ankles and knees, and <laughs> you're able to get all that knowledge soaked in at, in the comfort of your own home. COVID safe. Honestly, well. honestly, for that, for someone who uh, it's like just starting, I could see that being somewhat helpful for positioning on shots mm -hmm. for angles, kind of figure out. I know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you can actually be the goalie. No, no, I'm the yeah, field you can player. be the. I don't. I, oh, you're the field player. I'm the field. I think I don't. Oh, you're not even the goalie. I don't know if you can be the goalkeeper, but I decide to be the field player, so that you can actually just read the goal. In the last one, you could. In on PlayStation, you could press the uh, whatever button that is in the middle. I don't know what that oh. big touch screen, the touch button, when you were playing games, and then you can switch and you can be the goalie. Uh, I even think you can do like a. Because when we get going and running on Twitch and everything, we should go ahead and have our like uh, goalie series, like where we're, you know, where you and I play a half in FIFA yes. like, as goalies, or <laughs> yes. one plays on the field and we switch and you stay goalie yep. the whole time. Yep. Revolutionize. Revolutionize the game. Um. Oh. Uh, Titas, can you pull up, please, Bruno Fernandez, uh, goalkeeper Brazil. Tyler, do you know who that is? There's a new Bruno Fernandez. He plays for Manchester United, or he's on loan, or I don't. I'm not paying attention to this guy. I also, because I did a I did a solo podcast last night just because I was in the studio doing our stuff for uh, these upcoming defending videos. And uh, all right, well, I'll come back to that. Zoom in, please. Poor father. Uh, go ahead and click on. <laughs> Bruno gets another club nine years after brutal murder. Oh, this guy. Drama. Yeah. Yeah, we just need the, the, the quotes. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and click. So I was I was on the podcast, I was reading off I typed in soccer scandal. And it had a whole bunch of scandals in there, and then it got to this one where uh, go find the uh, murder and imprisonment. There you okay. go. So scroll it's 
I, not the murders, one thing, but you guys, I don't know if you guys know what happened after. I can't so see. zoom in, please, Titos. We can't see it. And I'll. Okay. So, yeah, good. Yes, right. Okay. On June 9, 2010, the athlete's former mistress, Elisa Samudio, disappeared. Mm. Okay? And she was pregnant, and she claimed that Bruno was the, file, uh, was the child's father, which she could obviously prove after she was born. When, when uh, he refused to support the child, she sued him when the guy got transferred to AC Milan. <laughs> All right? She sued him. And then she disappeared. Mm. Okay? Uh, and uh, the kid that she had actually ended up with Bruno's new wife. Um, and then let's just get to the part that actually happened. So uh, he also stated that Samudio was dead, but did not. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. Yes. No, he's charged with murder twice, eventually prison waiting for the baby. He told his friends, according to police, Bruno's teenage cousin stated that Samudio's body was cut up and some parts were fed to dogs wow. while other parts were buried under concrete. Bruno confessed to organizing the plot. Okay? Um, but he did it. Well, he organized it. He may not have actually oh, got see. his hands oh, okay, dirty. Okay, you see okay, what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. he organized this. But because he's, he's too busy playing for AC Milan. That's where uh, it blows my mind. I, wait, wait. It's not done, though, yet. Because the case, blah, 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 led to debate concerning misbehavior of professional athletes and growing crime against women. Um, they released this dude. So in 2007, he got released. Six years in prison. Uh, then new. let's... <laughs> Yeah, six years in prison for cutting up your former, your ex-girlfriend and ex-baby mama dude, and dude, then feeding like them to dogs. The, what was the animal that went on the field? I feel like he got more... The chicken. Yeah, they kicked the chicken and got more in trouble, I feel like. So, and, that, and then afterwards he got a job. So now he's actually playing. And so when I was reading that, I didn't know he must who be it was. I remember the story. Oh, he must be, he must be an incredible goalkeeper. But I, I immediately, when it said goalkeeper, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it makes sense. Because field players, it does. Field players are crazy. They're, they're also crazy. Professional athletes, they're crazy. Like, okay, there's varying levels. But only a goalie is going to kick and kill a chicken on the field. Yep. And only a goalie is going to murder, cut up their ex-girlfriend, and feed them to dogs. A striker's not going to do that. No. He's no. going to bite. Su Luis Suarez will bite you on the field. Yeah. And then it'll be over. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, Tyler. You need to answer for your goalkeepers. Why are you guys doing stuff that we aren't dare? Yeah. Like, it's so far gone. It's, uh, you know. I think you guys all cover up all your stories. And you just release the goalkeeper ones. <laughs> so we're like the government. We're the U.S. Yeah, government. Guys, have, you, have you guys seen the, uh, there's a YouTube video. It's so funny. It's the worst goalkeeper in the world. It's some guy in Bolivia. And it's just like a highlight reel, like, and to send him a link. No, it's a systemic problem. It's a, uh, it's really an issue that we need to bring more awareness around. It is a mental health issue with goalkeepers. Seriously, we need to get a psychiatrist or some like we need to get a mental health professional on the show to talk about this. Psychologist, obviously the the the, the most famous one is Jordan Peterson, but there's got to be a sports psychologist that'll come on and talk to us yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Who's the one that's uh, famous? He's uh, friends with Pete uh, Carroll. Is is Pete, Pete Carroll's coach of the of Seattle? Yeah. 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 I don't know who you're talking Michael about. Michael Gervais. I think it's Michael Gervais. Type in Michael Gervais, sports psychologist. Is he the brother of Ricky Gervais? Think about that because there's just you when you hear the name Gervais, <laughs> it's like it has to be Ricky Gervais, and if it's not, it's weird. Oh, he has a podcast. Yeah, Michael Gervais. Oh, okay. Is a high-performance psychologist working in the trenches of high-stakes environments with some of the best in the world, training the mindset and practice essential to pursuing and revealing one's potential. Yeah, he's, he's supposed to be like the shit. This is not a very viewed video, Tyler. How did you find this? Uh, just okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do we lead us through here? What do we, what we just look watch? At? Just watch. It's just like it's just some Bolivian goalkeeper and. The most ridiculous mistakes. Oh, I might have seen this. I think it might have been. Oh my god. What just happened? There's a better view. Oh no. 
that's <laughs> but this goes on for three minutes. It's just it's just a constant. Oh my god! Watch, they're they're so. What is the deal? There's always this goalkeeper that tries to do this stuff, man. <laughs> I think he's. I, I think he's fixing. Match fixing. Yeah, there's got to be match fixing going on. He doesn't look hey, up. He caught enough. it in the. No, right. It's <laughs> like up there. Yeah, no, no. This is how. Where does Chiquito live? Like in the White House in Bolivia? Like, he's got this massive house. He's just making. 1.8 billion dollars on each game. <sighs> Goalkeepers, man. That, that's yeah. not a safe. I I will be terrified if I have kids one day and they decide to be goalkeepers. I'm going to have to sign them up for you're, counseling. You're, you're not athletic enough for that to really be a real concern of yours. Athletic enough? What is the... There are a lot of goalkeepers that are not very athletic. They can just move in their positioning. No, I would actually that disagree athletic. with that. I, I would say that as long as you are somewhat athletic, you can play goalkeeper. Like, if you're just, like, partially athletic, you can be thrown. Like, the goalkeeper we won state with in high school, he was a basketball player. And we just, like, we're like, hey, do you want to play with us? Like, our goalkeeper sucks right now. You can you can kind of catch and jump. So, you want to give it a shot? And then we ended up winning state, so. It was that easy. Games. Yep. Yeah, that's what you say, but he got a college scholarship know, offers we, too. And he was terrible. Wow. He had no, he had no fundamentals. No, he was just rogue. He would just run and jump and catch balls <laughs> and run over people, and that's it. That's all the position is. Why haven't you reacted to that video, Tyler? The worst goalkeeper ever. Like that's a fucking, that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. It only has three thousand views. That would get. That would YouTube. get. There's, I think there's. Views if you did that. I think there's. I think there's a bigger one. Uh, so nobody's given commentary on it. You should definitely like do that. for you to talk about match fixing and to talk about you know like you could take it seriously and then like come to the after the third or fourth one you're just like okay how <laughs> from my experience in Croatia <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I am keep dropping the ball like that yeah I'm pretty sure that this is the quality of the video is pretty bad so I don't know how much that. You know, uh, when I was in goal yesterday, uh, you know when you get a shot that comes right at you and it's, like, going to go between your legs? Like, or you, like, you're doing this scoop save, right? Mm -hmm. How are your legs supposed to be again in a scoop save? Uh, there's different ways people like it. I like to usually step into the ball and then kind of trail my back leg tuck it in a little bit to, to protect it so it wouldn't go through your legs if you so yeah so if hands. you miss with your hands completely then it's probably going to go through anyways but usually if you put your hands there it's gonna by time it goes through your hands those will slow it down enough yeah. to where then your legs kind of closing huh. up behind you yeah I just, this I just, is some see, people this, every time some people like to just stand there and then just put like in foot swall like drop their whole knee down that's which that's the issue I hate. with you Tyler is you don't have good hands it's like <laughs> one of my stronger characteristics. <laughs> no, you actually have really good hands. I'll, I'll give you that. Because like when we like uh, I, balls to you, you can catch ahead, it yeah. one handed and stuff really well. Ask. You guys seen these? Uh, you seen that guy, your professor? Mics, your mic's back to. Mm -hmm. You guys are just oh, gonna. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> if, it's, if it is this, oh, it's back. back. It's back. We're good. Well, yeah, I don't know what's going on because there's nothing that I'm doing. We didn't do anything to fix it in the first place. Yeah. No, it's bad. We'll just keep it rolling. We'll take half that. We just got to let it roll. Yeah. I, yeah, you just got to let it roll. I can even pull up Audacity here and do a Audacity. backup. Yeah, I mean, you sound perfect. Uh, you guys know this? You know who this guy is? Uh, it's called the Professor. Uh oh. The basketball dude. You oh. never heard of the professor? Oh, yeah, the white yeah, guy, yeah, the short yeah. white guy who just dribbles people. Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Uh, you guys have, so you've seen some of the clips, like, online. Yeah, I've watched stuff of him. hours of them. You get stuck in a Facebook group. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, he, he's big on Facebook, exactly. Like, they love that stuff because there's a lot of, they build little stories on it, like, he, some guy was talking trash, and, <laughs> and I offered him 100 bucks to, to get on the court with, that's how they start. It's like, I gave him 100 bucks, and that's, so I saw that headline or whatever, and I'd known about him for a long time because he's been around for a long time, yeah. you know? 
but one of the ads after I clicked on this was now this dude who's probably smaller than me. So he's whatever, smaller than 5'10". He's not, he's smaller than 5'10". And he's teaching people how to dunk. It's like he's got a dunk method. Like, uh, it's like you can, you just, you buy his program and he's got a whole bunch of people that are like 5'8", talking about how they can dunk now. And I feel like we would know more about this because that would be really useful. Yeah. Or am I just, is that not a thing? You can just teach people, I guess you, you can learn how to jump higher, right? Oh, you yeah. You can. Yeah, you can yeah. increase your vertical. For sure. You just do a bunch of squats. Absolutely. And... But can you, five, like five, eight people can't dunk normally at all. Like how much vertical, there's gotta be a science behind this. Yeah. The, 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 the hoop is always 10 feet. Like it doesn't change. So like you have to be able to add on for five eight, you need to be at what's the average vertical? What's the average vertical? Let's see. Of what? Of a human. Of a, I don't think you're gonna find the average vertical of a, of a human. Let's see. Eighteen to twenty years okay. old is nineteen point five. Uh twenty inches? to twenty nine is twenty inches. That's all? Twenty inch vertical. That's that's a foot and some change. A good high school athlete will have a vertical of 24 to 28, and then an excellent vertical would be 32 to 36 inches. With the wingspan of a person who's 5'8", they're getting, what, 7 feet? With that reach, full ex fully extended? No, it's lower than 7 feet, I think. Well, so I guess that's how long they're... No, it actually... No, it might. 5'8". I know mine. I know mine's. If I go, mine's like eight feet. If I just put my Ooh, hand, there's a dunk calculator. Yeah. Up. Oh no way! <laughs> so it types in how much you need to yeah let's, to fly. Let's it's like a calculator here. We can put. All it right. In. So yeah, Tyler, if you're eight feet, roughly, you only need to cover two feet. So that's not true though, because you need to get like six inches over the hoop, just because you can Ow. touch the hoop. You yeah, it's true. You're dunk. right. You're right. Because I could always browse the. <laughs> so you're right. Yeah. So we've got a five eight guy. His standing reach. What do we know about that though? I would just uh, go with what they say. Okay. Yeah. Height of rim is ten feet. Extra reach for dunk. Six, six inches, inches, like you said. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You need about six inches. So we calculate that. So he needs a, okay. So he needs two and a half. Thirty six. Read it out though. Forty three inches 43 to do a three sixty windmill like this. That's, that's hilarious. So you can download this free ebook. Maybe we should make a video like this, Will. Like how to do a Ronaldo header. Yeah. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, that one that he did in you know that's famous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, you can mute him yourself, by the way. Did you know that? Um, but yeah. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Why not? How high do you. So, what did we say, though? He had to, he needs 36 inches? Yeah. Yep. Needs to dunk. If you're 5'8, yeah, yeah. If you're 5'8, you need to, wow. You need three feet. It seems like a lot. <laughs> it seems like a well, lot, that, dude. It, doesn't it? Because we already established the average dude is only getting 20, so you need to add... 16 inches to your vertical? You need to add, yeah, about 16 inches to your vertical. Yeah, you better not have a job. Yeah, could you... Yeah, you're going to have to. Every, yeah. every second. I don't believe, I don't believe <laughs> that you could train yourself to get 16 inches on your vertical. Like, you have to just have some, like, natural ability. Like, if you take... Hundred people, how many do you think you could? Oh no, get oh, to, no, no, to no. sixteen. Yeah, right. If what? Yeah. I mean, how could you put a gun to their head and be like, in a year, if you can't dunk, we're gonna shoot I you, still, or are you just? That's something we need to ask, like, like exercise science person. Like, if you were to take a large sample of like a million people, right? Like, uh, males between the ages of twenty and thirty, and they all had verticals of twenty inches, 
and then you put them through a workout routine, how many of them would add 16 fucking inches to their vertical? But they're not doing the they're not doing the exercises from pro- the professor. <laughs> it's not the professor. I don't want to I don't want to slam the professor because it's not his program. But like, yeah, you know, the guy, it's, jump specialist, whatever his name is. I don't know. It's crazy watching those shorter guys dunk though. They just float. It looks like someone's just pushing them like they're on a platform, and someone just lifts them up. Yeah, it's insane. It really is. I don't. I mean. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could add, I don't know if I could add 16, but I know I could add 10, 12, a foot. Like, but that's years of athleticism and stuff like that. You can definitely do that, but that's the question. What's our sample size be? The dude who has none, like he didn't play yeah. even high school sports. Like, he's just sitting. Like, there, it's, the, the curve is going to be awful for this dude. We first have to lose weight, and then we have to, you know, like, yeah, we can't yeah. even work on the vertical so like, what about just like? If we take a bunch of me. How much? How much? My vertical athletes? could I? How much vertical could I get? You think? As someone who plays I think sports, you hundred percent could do it. Sixteen inches on I my vertical. You think I? You think your vertical is only twenty? I don't know. My vertical. I have no idea. I can touch, like, just below the rim. I sometimes I can touch the rim on a, and I'm like six foot, a little over six foot. So let's go to the dunk yeah. calculator real quick. Let's go to the dunk. I'm six foot (laughs) tall. My standing reach, it says it's eight. I don't know what standing reach. So how long are my – my arms are kind of long. I definitely probably have an eight foot reach. Oh, actually, no, you you probably are right because mine actually – I'll touch the top of the crossbar when I – with my standing reach. I can like put my like glove kind of like over over it. So I need to jump twenty four inches to test the rim, thirty inches to dunk. I would say I know I measured it a couple times when I was playing. I just don't remember. Thing, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I would say I don't know. What's like? Can we like we can do an average here of how tall my vertical is? I would guess it's twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah, twenty two, twenty three. Because if I can kind of sometimes touch the rim, that means like on a good jump. I touched the rim, so that's twenty-four inch vertical. Um, so I, would, I need to add six inches to my, or yeah, six inches of my vertical to dunk. You think I could add sixteen to my vertical? You, to do a windmill, Vince Carter, and I could do a windmill. <laughs> yeah, with sixteen inches, you could do a windmill. I think this is something we might have to do, <laughs> folks. <laughs> I think, I think this is something we might have to buy the program if we can do windmill fucking 360 dunks on the YouTube channel. This might be something we have to invest in, B. Like, you might have to stop everything you're doing for a year to just, like... I'd have a 40-inch vertical, imagine? dude. If I added six... Yeah, I would have a 39 to 40-inch vertical. How Tell cool. Maddie you'll see her. You'll yeah. see her in 2022. Yeah, you got <laughs> you got stuff to do. Man. Holy shit! So I mean, I'll do the uh, program. Yeah. Uh, if I can really add 16 inches in my vertical, I would do that in a heartbeat. I'll train for that. I need something to train for. Seriously. Yeah, I think to be honest, though, like we're not even we're leaving out all of the other benefits. Like you, you would probably get fairly fit. Oh yeah. With all of the rest of the stuff, I mean, that's not going to be the same as like doing some cross training and some gymnastics and yeah, yeah. playing soccer and then playing. But like, no, it's not. But like, you're gonna, you definitely are gonna get more toned. Oh you're yeah, gonna have to sprint better. No, you know, dude. to get that when yeah, I would, run up. When I play so. pickup basketball and stuff, like when I was in college and I'd go play pickup basketball, if I got like on a full sprint, like break like fast break down the court and i was like stretched out and like really good to go i could get up and like get really close to dunking so i think that there's some potential i'm light enough where i think if i just built you know enough spring in my glutes and my calves you know my hamstring if i just like really worked out my legs i i could see myself doing a windmill dunk what are they doing on, on youtube what are they teaching i guess you can i bet there's there's probably free things Titas, could you pull that up for us? Like, if you type in what would be the right search, how to dunk, how to, how to increase your vertical, and then like the top, uh, top so five single videos, leg bounds, what the exercise squat jumps, tuck jumps, death jump, <laughs> split squat jumps, death jumps, broad jumps, 180 jumps. <laughs> you just fucking jump a bunch, dude. 
different angles of jumps. Will, I bet you could add 16 inches to your vertical easily. I'm not jumping enough. I do squat jumps all the time, but like that's, that's a, there's also a form of training to dunk. I definitely could, definitely. There's, I have no doubt that I could do those drills. And I think the average athlete, the average soccer player could train to to jump probably pretty damn high. I mean, it's crazy, like Cristiano Ronaldo, like that one replay where he, like, he literally jumps so fucking high, dude. Tyler, have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen the uh, – so there's a YouTube video in some city where they put the ball where it is and they have people yeah, trying yeah, to jump yeah, up yeah. and get it. Yeah. It looks somewhat doable for them. I, I need to see it in person. Yeah. Like I, when I see it, I'm like, oh, maybe they could. And then like they get nowhere close. It's just like, okay. I, I think I could definitely get it. But then to do that and then put a ball in target. Yeah, to be able to like, get on is, like your forehead like at the angle. Like, yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to get like up over it and then – start to like be coming down like and he's timing. running you and you have to jump it. sideways kind of and then you cock your head back yeah it's that's a very athletic that's one of the more athletic things yeah. i've ever seen like dwight howard dunks or sean ronaldo <laughs> with that header vince carter stuffing his whole arm into the hoop yeah like there's just crazy yeah, yeah. nfl has just some nuts watching like saquon yeah just jump over people Jump over people, then stiff arm some three hundred pound man to the ground with just his left hand. Oh my god, just... Will! You got to see this uh, highlight of um, Khalil Mack throwing. Oh, with the offensive yes, line throws lineman, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> he just take one dose, somebody. What is he? What position is he? Is he running back? Uh, no, he's a defensive one. What is he? Defensive what? I can hear. Where's he? A linebacker. He's, he's like outside linebacker. linebacker. He's a line. Outside line. All right, here we go. One second. All right, so this is like <laughs> he sacked the quarterback, right? And then the guy continues to like. He just <laughs> he just tosses him. That's a oh three hundred and fifty pound dude. Like that looks like a movie. That looks like one of those Steven Seagal. Uh, Jean Claude Van Damme fake role moves. He treats him like the like a stunt, like a stunt double, you know, where they're like, yeah, that's holy shit, I, disrespectful. I couldn't imagine just being that. If you're that strong, do you have to pay attention when you're doing things like opening doors or closing? <laughs> Is there? I don't know. Like if you're, I'm trying to think of a good activity where you'd have to. Because he's like actually like really like strong like useful strong this guy give me some give me some uh Khalil. some stats on him Let's see. Bench. i think tyler you would have to be wary of uh, almost everything i think those dudes break things i'm pretty sure they do don't you hear stories of that stuff the like tall guys Shaq has stories you know where he's breaking things even charles barkley is not even that huge and like they like talk about like they break things. Their hands are too big. They're too strong, that's, dude. <laughs> that's one of my favorite sport highlights is when Shaq just shatters the backboard. I don't know if I've – I mean, I'm sure I've seen it. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, it's old. Like, it's old. At old. LSU? Or – No, no. It's with the Lakers. Oh, it's the Lakers. Oh, yeah. So he did 23 Shattered reps. Huge. What a cool thing. 23 reps of 225 pounds is what Khalil Mack had at the combine when he's coming out of college. 225. Bench? Yeah. Is that a lot? That doesn't I, sound like that much. I mean, it is It dude. is a ton. It doesn't sound... For him, it doesn't sound like a ton. He's coming out of college, too. So... That is, that is true. They normally get these guys doubling their shit once they get in the NFL. <laughs> he... I think he was going as the... He went as the number one pick, right? I think so, yeah. He might not even have even kind of like, you know... It. Well, he the thing about Khalil oh, Mack yeah. is he's also like super, super fast and like really agile. Like he is one of the. What was his forty? Let's see. Khalil Mack, forty yard dash time. He ran a. The official time was a four six five. 
Jesus. So he runs a four six five, and he can throw three hundred fifty pound men. Could you imagine that guy running at you at a four six five forty time and just running you over? How much? How much money would someone have to pay you? It wouldn't matter. Just, I, like, would uh, I would be dead. I would be dead. I would be killed. Yeah, dude. Do you guys remember the? We didn't we talk about this again? You guys remember the Washington match with Charlie Davies, who's fast. Oh my god! And then god. those guys. That was what's his name? What's the dude from Washington? I can't remember that. Tyler, that your 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 Redskins guy, oh. Griffin, the third. You're not even a fan of Washington ball team. We were so bad when he was at the team. Yeah, what, uh, whatever. What, do you know what his position was? There were two guys, whatever. There were two football players on both. He was a linebacker. Okay. He was a linebacker. They're huge. They can't – they're not that long outside of the league, you know, from being retired. And holy shit. The the amount of size, that, the, how they – that's it's insane, dude. I could not imagine being – and then everybody on the field is, is capable of doing that in your area and is ready to just destroy you. Like, they can't do anything with their feet, thank God, yeah. on the field. And they don't know how to slide tackle because if we can teach these guys how to slide oh tackle and, like, body, oh, my God. That's that's what I was just talking to my roommate about. Just after games, you feel banged up. You feel like you got some knocks. And then just thinking about that every single play in the game was just someone got a red card against you. Basically. It would be like a red card tackle every single time. Like, what would you feel like? After that game, that's what that's what, well, like my strategy. Like, if I ever coach soccer, is I just want to recruit a massive number nine, a massive defensive midfielder, and a massive center back, and then everybody else is like will size and skillful, and just have three pillars down the middle of the field, yeah. and the goalkeeper also massive. Oh yeah, do we in our game yesterday? Their goalkeeper was like six six. That's what I like. Boy. Like, and they had. Oh my gosh! It's just—I didn't even notice how big he was until after. Uh, he was bigger than Romero. Like he was—he was noticeably bigger than Romero. He made you look like yeah. a little kid. There's, <laughs> oh, yeah, walking up to him, I was like, "Holy shit!" There's so few guys that make me feel like yeah. small, and he. That is that's it is something. Uh, unless, of course, you take this new drug that I've discovered, okay. which of course you can't take. Neither of us could be. You could take it. It's called clenbuterol. Okay. It's used as – it's part of Chicken Gate. Okay. You guys don't know what Mexican Chicken, chicken Gate nope. is. It's a scandal that happened in 2011 where all of Mexico's players, except for I think five of them, were taking steroids. <laughs> <laughs> and this one drug – do you know what it does though? This is what I was confused on. This drug has the ability to turn whatever calorie you take into muscle instead of fat. Oh. Eat, a, you can eat a car, turn it into muscle. What's the downside? Eat some plastic, <laughs> turn it into, turn it into muscle. You can eat whatever the fuck you... So, yeah. So that's what these dudes were taking. They injected into animals, nice. apparently. And, uh, yeah, these dudes were taking this, uh, and they then said, we ate some tainted meat, and that's why we failed our drug test. That makes sense. Yep. That's so you, you do this, <laughs> and uh, what, are, what are the side effects you're going to... You're, you're, oh, no, I, you, I didn't Google. You get muscles. Were you not listening? Off or, or what's what's going to happen? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're still looking. I'm sure there's horrible side effects. I mean, I could I'm do sure it for horrible. this year so I could do the Vince Carter dunk and then oh. stop. Yeah, we could reduce the time, right? You don't even need to do it. take it for a year. You take clenbuterol is what it's called. Yeah. Get you on the clenbuterol. What a name, by the way. I could just take a sabbatical for like... a couple months and then come back with a sick yeah. patch and proof article. <laughs> It's a it's a roid. And if we keep you on them really short too, like we will keep you on for like a six week period, really reduce your yeah. your side effect. Yeah, you know. And I mean, there we go. Like, I think it's worth it. If I can do a a windmill, I can deal with the side effects. <laughs> That's fine. We're all gonna die from oh, this. Man. Side effects. <laughs> after after you stop your side effects, I mean, you're just gonna like turn into a tunnel <laughs> once you stop taking it. <laughs> you're just, <laughs> just oh, yeah. gonna be a blob. No, that's not that bad. And the negative side effects when overused or misused can only include increased heart rate, rapid breathing, heart palpitations, chest pain, tremors, anxiety, and electrolyte imbalance. There's no sort of penis falling off. I have There's like no four sort or five of fingers. Of like... Anyways, those side effects. Though. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Hard Do you left. Know what you would feel like on roids. Uh oh. Okay. Hard left. We need a button. We need a sound. We gotta go. <laughs> Excited for this hard left. We can hard get. Left. You want to get like a GPS, a GPS voice, like turn left. Yeah. Turning. Yeah. Turning <laughs> left on biscuits and tea. The yeah. Taliban. Okay, the where Taliban are we going? has endorsed President Donald Trump. Go ahead and pull up the article, T Taz. We got the Taliban saying that they want Donald Trump to get elected. And the quote okay. is, a senior Taliban member reportedly added, Trump might be ridiculous for the rest of the world, but he is sane and a wise man for the Taliban. This is from Business oh Insider. My God. What do you do? What do you say, uh, Donald Trump? What's your response? Where, what are we? What is that? So they want Biden to win, though. Right? What did the Taliban just say the opposite of what they want? I don't know. Because you have Russia, you know, they want I mean, Trump to get elected. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why would they think that? <laughs> I, like the, I like the Taliban hinting that Trump is ridiculous. Like, what they're doing <laughs> is a very insane organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, then Trump, I, like, responded. He was like, we do not accept their endorsement. Uh, endorsement. And by the way, Joe Biden... <laughs> was opposed to taking out Osama bin Laden. <laughs> oh, God. So what the uh, fuck is up with this? God. Why is the Taliban like, yeah, pro-America, Trump, baby? What's up with that? I don't know. Where have they been? I, I'm still back, back on the question that Tyler asked. Are the Taliban still functioning in any real way, or did... Yeah. What's going on there? What's the new one? What's the new terrorist organization? ISIS? You mean ISIS? Or... Yeah. I don't know. So. I, I really I haven't they're... heard the name Taliban thing. in, I swear, like a year. In a year? It's been, they've not done, I guess, are we not hearing about them because I... they're not doing anything to the West? Is this just classic, you know, Probably. that and they're like actually functioning? Uh... I don't know. Not my chair, not my problem. I just, it just. God, do you guys remember the Taliban, like in their hey, the, the Osama bin Laden days? How crazy was all that shit? Nuts, dude. And to, there like, was... there's a Netflix documentary right now about like bin Laden, like hit, hidden book of secrets or some bullshit like that. And we were watching it. This dude oh, was no. weird, man. He like sat in like an empty compound with his family for like so long, and just like would just watch his own like news press conferences and. They did nothing, dude. They just know. sat like these kids would just sit in this like huge blocked compound <laughs> with rocks, and they would just do nothing. They had no like electricity or anything because they couldn't get you didn't want to get caught, you know. Of course, but what about I? Uh, do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when we when we caught him? Yeah, when we got Osama bin Laden. What two thousand? It's eight or something. Obama was president still, so. 2012 I it's just I know they didn't release any pictures like they didn't release any pictures of him I think he's alive dead I don't think he's alive because that dude was like dying right he was on dialysis and like he was he was looking pretty frail did they say they threw him uh, out of the ocean or something yes. they just shot him and threw yes, him yes. the fuck is that I want to talk about that <laughs> yes I know what to talk can we not talk wait you what and we thought it would be a great idea. We didn't want uh, retaliation from the Taliban. So, no, they said they followed all the procedures that they put him in the thing and, like, they did a burial at sea because they didn't want to. And they're no, they didn't release any pictures. What? Why? Why would you do Like, is it there? I thought there was camera. Of, I thought there was video of him actually getting shot, though. There's video of the raid, of the supposed raid, but I don't think there's actual video of him getting shot and killed. Or they have it. Of course, they're claiming yeah. they have it, but I don't think we have definitive. There's no video out there that shows he got shot. Like we have Gaddafi dead, you know, yeah. completely. We didn't even find Gaddafi. Did Gaddafi just get murdered by? That all was the, us, like, dude. Civilians? That was it. I mean, it was us. Like, but that was that's France, what, 
Germany and us. Right, he was just in the middle of the street, and they just did some yeah, they dragged into his, brutal things yeah. with just mob justice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I mean, Saddam Hussein, the hanging, he's we we know, but like Osama, what happened? For some reason, like I feel like when got like the whole Gaddafi thing, didn't he get things like shoved up his butt or something? Yeah, yeah. Wow, what's up with I that? I was like a. I, uh, I, if I was killing someone, I don't think that I would. That's the thing I would want to do. It seems kind of like it would make me squeamish, you know? Shoving uh, it. Yeah. Uh, I think you just. I think maybe if that guy was the result of half of your family being killed, you might not be thinking and just seeing red. Yeah. It, it, it's a. It's a. Yeah. That seems I don't know kind of a. Yeah, that. it's kind of strange thing to do. Shoving a knife up someone's butt. This is D podcast. How you guys feeling? Uh, that's a mob. That's mob B team. B team. That's mob justice, though. That's yeah. The question is, what would you be like in a mob? Who could be? You imagine they actually had people running around with pitchforks and and torches. That was real. That was a real thing. And now it's just people with flashlights on their iPhones, <laughs> and, and and like sign. It's real. There are actual mobs. And like you were in a mob. Can you imagine being in a mob? I can't picture my Friday night. You got off work. That's, that's why. That's why I wanted to get when I was on the when I was getting lunch yesterday, and I saw the Trump people out on the side of the road. That's why I wanted to pull over. I wanted to see what that kind of environment is like, and it was honestly kind of boring. It was really anticlimactic, and like once you like got out and like stood next to the people, like they weren't like doing anything. Except for just like yelling at the cars and the ho- cars would honk and they're just waving flags. It looks a lot more dramatic when you're just driving by, seeing it, uh, and then when you actually get out and go like they're just like old people like fucking doing nothing. Yeah. There's. Would you dare say they were low energy? Uh, I would say that. Was they were low? What are you, they were low. What's that supposed to mean? That was that was the whole uh, his first get paid. I think they. It was like big on uh i forget they, they kept saying like low energy like everyone's like tr- or clinton's like low energy and yeah. trump is i don't know just some little tagline uh, classic i love where's all hillary? hillary where's tagline where's hillary oh hillary's around she i don't know she was involved do you guys think something? she actually murdered those people do you think she murdered like what if what if the conspiracy theories like that are out there about the clintons murdering people what if they're all wrong, and like she actually like commits. The, it's not like one of those goalkeeper murders, you know. It's like she, Hillary shot, like, and that's the and like that's how she gets away with it because no one thinks be, she would do it. It'd be too dangerous because she wouldn't have gloves to cover her fingerprints. Why not? She's not a goalkeeper. Mm. Oh, you're fucking. Mm. Yes. No. Absolutely not. Did, Here's the other do you thing. You wear goalkeeper gloves. The amount of DNA you'd leave behind. Those things are disgusting. It would. It would be a lot of spit and saliva. <laughs> that would give it away. But uh, they actually they murdered. They murdered. I'm speaking as if uh, like I'm gonna get a knock on the door. Yeah, we know you're in Sweden. We don't really care, sir. You just said that Hillary. Uh, no, they supposed to have murdered uh, some guy who was in their administration but had then turned and was possibly giving stuff away to WikiLeaks. That's the most recent one. And I'm just like, I don't... See, the part of the problem is this. Is, do powerful people murder people who get in their way? Yes. Yeah. If you can't say yes to that question, you're living in... You're very naive and you're living in a world. Does the president, do the, does a family like that, are they the ones that have to do it? Is it happen? Do, do they have to say are like proper hitman? Does she have to say, "Hey, Michael, I don't think uh, Jessica over there should be around anymore," and like they just kind of read between the lines, or is there a meeting? I don't know. Because someone has to. How does it actually happen? That's all I want to know. Like, are they just like, yeah, it would be better if we remove them from the situation, and then like the mercenaries know that that means, yeah, let's just for him, let's kill this person. I think they just got a big WhatsApp group. It's like a team. It's a team WhatsApp group, and they just Emojis. you just you just see uh, you'll be you'll be in it, and then you see that you got kicked from the group, and <laughs> it just it's done. Yeah, that's how you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Will, did you hear about the Michigan governor? Uh, there is a domestic terrorist group 
basically terrorists, but they keep calling it militia oh, since they're like white people. But what they, now? They uh, what now? had a plan to kidnap and potentially murder the governor of Michigan. Cool. They got caught this week. So wait, um, a militia in Michigan of a bunch of white dudes that or what? That, mm-hmm. Yeah. Why did they want to do this exactly? Uh, I think Trump told them to do it. <laughs> did he? How? Like his just, just his rhetoric? He was like saying we got to bring. He was like saying we got to liberate Michigan, and then you know, obviously, like that causes people to freaking go out and start planning to kill a Democrat governor. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, um, just like he's you know he's out saying like stand. Stand by, Proud Boys. You know anything about the Proud Boys? Oh, boy. I heard a little. I don't know. No, I don't really know who they are. Can you explain that? Tyler, do you know who they are? Yes, I'm very aware of the, the Proud who Boys. Who are the Proud Boys? Exactly. They're, They're the far-right, yeah, neo-fascist, and male-only organization that promotes and engage in political violence in the United States and Canada. That's uh, what comes up on... Google the first thing when you search Proud Boys. So, okay. Do they have a leader? Do these things have a leader? Is there someone that like uh, we could look to for? Uh... So are these the literal opposite to Antifa? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was founded in 2016. When fucking, that's what it says on Google. Enrique Tarrio. Is the leader? That doesn't sound like a very white neo. It's a self <laughs> neo Nazi. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, exactly. Dogs. Yeah, he's a <laughs> he's a Republican. He's a leader of the Proud Boys. Enrique. This guy's really black. Yeah, he looks. Is he actually? Is he, is it actually like Uncle? Look Ruckus? at this guy, Tyler. I clicked on his Wikipedia. It's. This just looks like a black dude. Yeah. What's going on here? Where is where is this? Click on the Wikipedia. Yeah, be sent in the group in the. And what we don't know when he was born. What? Look at his look at the Wikipedia. It says 1983 or 1984. And when he was 20, he was convicted of theft. He was sentenced three years on probation, community service, in order to pay restitution. Uh, he was in federal prison for rebranding and reselling stolen medical devices. What the fuck? Oh, they removed him from Twitter. Oh, you're there. Jesus Christ. Skype just kicked me out. Yeah. Nothing wrong. Is this guy... What's going on, though? Personal life. He grew up in... He's Cuban? He grew up in Little Havana. So... Yeah, he's. I mean, he's, he's Afro-Cuban. Huh. What? What? For, is this just like their their way to try to say they're not racist? <laughs> they just put a. What? Oh, I am so confused. There is an Afro-Cuban, but yet he's a far-right neo-fascist. Uh, we've discovered has no one looked into this are we the first people to look into this <laughs> I've, I've never heard of this guy. is this what's going on like uh, we just like wikipedia we discovered the wikipedia store like someone had to go and find out <laughs> that the leader of the <laughs> i forgot about the wikipedia we're not letting store. that go we'll get to the bottom of that eventually someone needs to answer we'll get big enough that we can have somebody from Wikipedia come on and answer for why they have a merch store. Let's uh, I just sent a link about the Proud Boys Honestly. in here. Uh, if you want to get a look at what of uh, one of the rallies looked like. Okay. I, I don't think the, just with Wikipedia, I don't think the question is why do they have the merch store. I think the question is why are they not pushing? That? <laughs> They'd be so successful. Well, well, it, yeah, I mean, I guess it would be. It would be, but they're a nonprofit, right? Is that what they're? Is yeah. this all gas, no brakes? Freaking hilarious. This guy's dude. awesome. What's that? I don't know what that is. That's uh, a YouTube channel. This guy. Type of show. He goes to like all these like conventions and rallies and events, and he just like interviews like these people and just exposes like how mm. freaking nuts they are. Ah, uh, okay. But he doesn't. He doesn't ever add his input on anything. All he does, he kind of does what you yeah, do. Yeah. Uh, just Will. go. 
like with the Trump cab driver. Yeah. You just, you just, he just keeps asking questions about yeah, things. Keep going down the rabbit yeah, the hole. The more they talk, just the more ridiculous they say. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't hear it, but it's muted. Oh man, that's funny. I'm confused by Enrique. Do you think Enrique would come on the uh, come on biscuits and tea? Maybe. Does he have? Uh, well, he's kicked off of Twitter. He's just constantly starting violence and shit like this, so it's gonna be kind of hard. Yeah, we will probably get demonetized and taken off YouTube as well if we had him on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Ask one question. You'd get cut. Yeah, I'd get. I'd lose, we'd all lose our. Yeah. Our position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So that's what's kind of going on here. Yeah. I mean, sounds safe. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. I'm just trying to go get some Chinese food for lunch, and I see a bunch of freaking nutcases and jeeps and trucks. Yeah. Everyone's okay. Since when? Okay, so I I can get pulled over, and I can get a a, a ticket for not wearing a fucking seatbelt. That's happened to me before. I left the gas station, mm-hmm. and I like I was literally pulling out, and I got pulled over and got a ticket, ten dollars. Yesterday, these people are in jeeps with the hoods off. There's like six people on the fucking car, and they're all standing out. Woo! Yeah. Seatbelt standing on top of the fucking thing. I'm like, okay, so now it's you're on a main road. Now it's fine. It's fine now. Okay. 2020. Let it ride. Also, it's uh, maybe they're calling a parade. Is this stuff being cordoned off? Like, is there a section, or is this just normal street? No, it was just like on 135th. It's just I happening. Got stuck in a, I was there. Yeah. I got stuck in it for 30 minutes. I couldn't get home. My I had to yeah. reheat my Chinese food when I got home. I was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh... What, yeah, go ahead. What are you going to ask? Because mine's different. Why does Enrique... Why in that picture does he have the original U.S. I flag? know, yeah. Maybe that's just a little slight nod to, like, the colonies and, like, possibly pre-civil shit. That's, like, so weird. Yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to this yeah, dude. Just chopping the United States in half again and just making it where... We have the north and the south, and just push all those people to the south. Oh, hundred oh, percent. That would create a awful consolidation of things that I don't think we would want. Actually, we do not want them to all be together. Right now, they have to hold their racist thoughts in every once in a while because there's too many, you know, yeah. free thinking hippies that want that, and so they can't get together. And if they do get together, they have to get together with the weird extremist groups, and then they know that they want to go out and have some Chipotle. Yeah. And so they can't be seen with their Ku Klux Klan thing. If we give them, if you give them a whole half of the country, here's oh shit. Here's the strategy though. They don't they don't <laughs> buy into COVID. They don't believe in COVID. They think it's a hoax. <laughs> they think it's nonsense. Yesterday when I went to that thing and was just checking it out, I was the only person wearing a mask. I didn't realize it. It totally gave me away, yeah. by the way. And that's why everyone was looking at me really weird because no one else is wearing a mask. And I'm walking around filming people with a mask on. And, uh, I mean, if you put them all there, though, they're all going to pass it around. We'll go ahead and yeah. just let them kind of die off. But that – Did it take the light but, back? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this, uh, it's, that's actually – was that not one of our original plays? Here, have a blanket. Exactly. <laughs> I don't understand smallpox. <laughs> like, that's is that not yeah. what we did originally? Yeah. Except it was I like, mean, they did it but, to, yeah, they did it. So it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd yeah. be like full circle. Yeah, full circle, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just hand them some free, COVID-free blankets. You just like say, hey, um, free trucks. Everybody, get your free truck. And they're all just riddled with... <laughs> COVID. Yeah, <laughs> COVID. <laughs> so that brings up to what we were talking about earlier, off off air. How many people are dying? So once again today, October eleventh, fifty thousand new cases a day or something like that in in the U.S. That's insane. Yeah. But then how many people are dying from? That? I need to. That needs to be put. Uh, so if there's that needs to be put with the sixty-seven thousand cases. Um, Wait, what's the timeline? Yesterday or today or what? What? When? When? I think this is this date is September twenty sixth to October 9th. Or, yeah, so that's fourteen days. It, okay. In Johnson County, there was, which is where me and Will are from, there was twelve thousand cases and one hundred and sixty three deaths. That's a lot. Let me send this link. Wait, if there. Wait, in, wait, 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 in just Wood County, yeah, Kansas? pretty sure. I mean, it's big. Thing. How many cases? Twelve thousand, you said. 
And how many death? Wait, how did they have a fifth of the cases? Because it's, it I mean, it's, it's really bad here, dude. Like, people are getting... Is the it? The schools are opening and shit. Where is it the worst? But 12,000? Like, where... I mean... But 12,000 sounds like something... It seems like a total. Oh, that's a, that's a total. Like, that Sorry. Re- that's a total. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's a total. Yeah, I'm not really good at oh, breaking down go. these statistics, so... Okay, what do we got here? Zoom in, please, Titos. So total case. You're gonna have to scroll down though. Wait, wait, wait. This is, this is oh, that's live. world. So you, okay, okay, yeah, but the, the world cases are no, forty mil. Hit the click on the U.S. Click on the U.S. And there then, you go. Uh, scroll down. It's a lot of recovered people, though. Sorry to say, seven million people have got COVID in the U.S. and five million of them have recovered. Ninety-six percent of them have been re- recovered or discharged. Sorry. But the thing is, I mean, 219,000 people dying, if we wouldn't have shut down and all that stuff, it would have been worse than that. And they're also projecting that we're going to have, we're going to double the number of that if we continue to go in the rate we're going right now. So we're talking about 400 plus thousand people dying this year from a single flu. Oh, before the end of the year. Yeah. But also we need to. 600 died yesterday. In the U.S. entirely. In the U.S., the day before that, 900. Day before that, 900. Day before that, 900. So you're having 50,000 people that. a day, and then 600 people are dying. It's not. I mean, it's it's closer to 700 people a day are dying. How I do you feel about that? That's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. That's still a lot. But uh, uh, but here's also I need to the other thing because I think the U.S. was the one that was causing issues with this. If you have COVID and you die in a car accident, you're marked as a COVID death, right? I think that's been disproven, actually. I think that's- Are was... they they're not doing that? Yeah, okay. That I hope that's not, I don't want any numbers where like you die when you have COVID. You should, it, should, it better be a direct cause of yeah. the virus and your body fun- and I'm malfunctioning because of the virus, and then yes, I, I want accurate numbers on. It. I want the deaths reported to. I want the. I want. I want a full picture. Stop scaring everyone. It is bad, but let's. Ninety-six percent of the people also healed, and then it needs to go further. Like, why do you? Why do we stop at that? We can't stop. Then how many of these people were over the age of fifty? How many of them were men? How many were women? How many had pre-existent or uh, pre-existing conditions? How many were over? Wait, like let's. Give me real shit, and then I can make a proper decision. If you have the data, if we don't have any data, and then okay, let's all act insane and freak the fuck out. But if people over 50 are dying and they all happen to be fat men, we got a problem for them. Let's figure out how we can solve that, yeah. you know? But let's, yeah, that, I don't know. No, I mean, the... Could you guys imagine an action? No, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I was go just going to say, I mean, the, the thing that I kind of go back to which is always kind of, I don't know if it's necessarily fair, but it's, you know, we had over 2,000 people die on 9-11. And people, like, our whole fucking lives were completely changed. Like, airport security, like, everything about that. Like, biggest deal ever, right? But now we have nearly that many people dying, like, every two or three days. And it's like, we saw people that are, you know, it's it's not serious. It's a joke. It's a hoax. And I'm just like, okay, well... 219,000 people have died from this single thing, but, you know, we commemorate, you know, a day every single year about how just 2,000 people died. It's like, it's not shit compared to what COVID's done. Humans are awful at that, though. It's it's the it's the shock factor and the shock value also, obviously, of what happened in 9-11. Yeah. You know, these planes, it's this and that attack, and now this thing is invisible, you can't see it. And, yeah, you guess. know, that's the issue with viruses like that. It gives you like nine eleven had a very there was a very well, it's clear the China enemy. virus. That's what he keeps calling it. That <laughs> why can't I mean I I'm okay. I mean I don't call it the China virus, but if everyone took it more serious by calling it the China virus, then I mean we might as well save people. I I read something that they screwed up so badly at the beginning with the mask by not making it seem like that if someone's not wearing a mask, they're attacking you. That's how they they should have portrayed masks to where if you see someone not wearing a mask, they're see, they're yeah, attacking see, you. Versus 
the whole rights thing, if they got people on that, at least in the U.S., then... Yeah, 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 okay. Because they definitely could have swapped that to where they're infringing, like, oh, you're infringing my rights to be healthy. Like, they, they could have... <laughs> yeah. They're not... In hindsight. There's not much psychology needed to to sway the opinion of... <laughs> Some of those people. <laughs> the pe- These certain groups yeah. of people. <laughs> I will always go back to my, my, my homie... Standing up outside the Trump rally with a mask on, cutting the middle of the mask <laughs> out. Greatest picture ever. <laughs> Greatest picture ever. I mean, not at all, but seriously. Uh, I was going to say, could you guys imagine? I mean, obviously, this isn't as deadly as something like this, but you want to talk about the plague and all that stuff. That's insane, by the way, obviously, to think of something that could kill half of a continent, you know, just every. 50% of people it's just nuts. gone in of, of just a few. That's insane. But could you guys imagine living in a world where there was a virus that, what if there was a virus that was only attacking literally a certain race of people or a certain gender? Like, what if it was the, the man corona? Yeah, that'd be Women were fine. Could you imagine what sort of divide we would have in the world oh, gosh. where women are immune to this and the men are dying like what sort of i feel like they would celebrate world? it i literally feel like nowadays <laughs> it'd be celebrated i feel like men are hated nowadays yeah for a lot of different things it's true yeah there are there was such a oh my god there was such a funny bill burr was on snl and he was actually just talking about that where he's like it's crazy how white women have latched on to the whole Black Lives Matter movement and started talking about how hard their lives are and how they're being oppressed too. He's like, and you know, they're fine talking about it now, but they were off rolling in the blood money for years before, right next to the white men. You guys would go have sex with a black guy, and if you got caught, you would say it wasn't consensual. And he's like, so you sit down right here with me and take your talking to also. It just, it's so funny. Yeah, I love Bill Burr. That's hilarious. Well, what do yeah, you know? I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. Yeah. What were you going to say? I was just saying, what do you know about uh, poll watchers? Oh, you yeah, guys don't know about poll watchers yet? Oh. Boys. Trump is, uh, the, he's like, putting, he's like, having the Proud Boys be poll watchers. Oh, God. It's going to be so bad at the physical yeah. betting thing. They're going to be carrying uh, so who's the, assault rifles. You can't. We can't have poll watchers, though. How is this going to – people are going to get shot and yeah. fights are going to break yeah. out. And that's going to actually lead to tampering and all sorts of stuff yeah. because you're going to have three huge guys with guns yep. fighting each other, shooting up, you know, vo- and then people are going to do whatever. And this is going to be like, okay. Yeah. We're uh, – do you, God. Rebbe, do you remember in Finland how we were joking with like when Trump was going to get elected, right? Like, oh, like everything's going to be, it's going to be kind of like amusing. Everything's going to be the same. Nothing's going to happen. Like it's just going to be, you know, just four years of. So uh, my trip to California wasn't the best. It was, it was fun. I got to see my buddy, but I uh, had a migraine on the trip. Oh, fuck. No, it was from the flight. We were going to COVID Malibu. migraine. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe potentially. I actually felt like I mean I don't the whole traveling thing. I feel like I wasn't exposed to like really anybody the whole time because I had so much space on the plane. And then when we got there, we didn't do anything like in restaurants or anything like that. We just kind of like hung out. But yeah, I got a migraine, and we were driving to Malibu like through the. Have you guys ever been through like the mountains in California? Like driving through and. Yeah. Really briefly, how would I have? Yeah, that made me sick, dude. Like the the altitude, <laughs> dude. I got so sick, and then I got a headache, and then we were like on the highway, and um, we like got to the beach, and I felt horrible. So I was like, guys, we gotta go. Like I feel terrible. Forty five minutes away from home, and we're driving back, and I I before I got in the car, I threw up on the beach, and then I'm in the car, and like I made it like thirty minutes back. I was like closing my eyes, trying to like stay like calm, so I wouldn't get sick anymore, and my head was throbbing. And then we're like going 60 miles per hour on the highway. Immediately, I like get this feeling at the throw up. I'm like spewing throw up out of the window, going 60 miles per hour. <laughs> and the people around us like would just look so concerned. It's just like during a pandemic, there's just some guy out of the car just. Like, <laughs> <"Bah!"> just 
<laughs> this is the next stage of COVID. They're thinking you're <laughs> like patient zombie. zero. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So that was not a fun part of the trip, but everything else is fine. But I just thought that would be a funny story to tell. How do they feel over there in the West Coast with COVID and stuff like that? How are they masks, chill? Are they more calm? Even if you're outside, everyone's wearing masks. And there are some people at restaurants and things like that, and people are kind of out, but you can definitely tell people are a lot more careful than good old Kansas. Yeah. yeah. But. What's going on in Croatia, Tyler? Our cases, we had like 500. Jesus. Oh, but that's because you, yeah, you can't hide. We're going, we're going up and no one, no one cares. Everyone's yeah. done with it. Yeah, I know. It's everyone wears, everyone wears their mask in grocery stores, but like, it's nothing. No one cares done. outside, outside of grocery stores and public transportation. Here in Sweden, one of the greatest things is that we actually don't have COVID and that we're all immune to it. So that's probably the best thing about COVID in Sweden, well, not having COVID. We were all immune to it after being in Blackpool. Everyone <laughs> fucking says it originated yeah. in China. I guarantee you the coronavirus originated in Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. What a bad place, though. Jesus. Is that place even still? I, I picture, like, now Blackpool, like, it's just, like, rubble. Like, it's like a war zone. Like... We left, and like after the pandemic, that it's just not even a thing anymore. I just I didn't know Black Blackpool sounds like a cool name. Like I used to think how cool it was, and their 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 team used to be so good. It was it's a long time ago, yeah. like the fifties, maybe even forties, and like they had a really good team. And like what I always imagined it in my head is this magical, mystical city. <laughs> kind of like Liverpool and then I, I never thought I would ever go to Blackpool yeah. though I never it just was going to always rest as this mystical land in my head holy shit what a place I I think the name is so fitting because really what it reminds me of is just a pool that's just been left alone not cared for for just years and you just yeah. come back and you just see Austin. it and it's just yeah. Yeah. you know mm. when it gets all muck just, yeah just dirt mud just yeah yeah algae and if you know if you someone will say hey i'll give you five hundred dollars to go jump in there and you say no chance and just oh northwest england the town is on the irish sea we were we saw so we got to see the irish sea (laughs) you realize that at night (laughs) it was like we not put that off your bucket list oh my god right there that uh that like night we were there in the wind and all like i felt like we were in like a like we were in pirates of the caribbean and it was like a a sea storm you know, and there'd be like fifty foot high waves and then a fucking octopus coming out that's like massive and It wouldn't be surprising if a skeleton army just came off off the beach there. They just started walking down the street. <laughs> that's why no one was out. They knew they knew they were coming today. Never be but we're never gonna go no. anywhere like that ever again. As a as a group. As a group, we'll never do anything like that probably ever again unless we like Paulus decides and Titos decide to lead like a camping trip into the Lithuanian forest for us. But like even then we'll have guides who know what's going on. We're just four American, five, four American guys carrying and one Lithuanian. Thousands of dollars and stuff. Thousands of dollars. Through the, the streets of Blackpool yeah. and we, oh. We should have been yeah. killed. We should yeah. have been killed. Nobody, nobody, nobody would try to rob us there. That's just, that's just not the target. That's true. Out. Yeah, we did not look. Although we did look lost because we obviously were. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> we looked very lost, but we also looked like yeah, four I pretty know. big yeah, guys. That's true. That's true, too. Yeah, we're not the right, not the right group, but. Um, do you know that we have, uh, we're trying to get some bonfires, working on some B-team merch for us. Uh, oh, is that, they have their own designers. Yeah, how's that working out? How's it going? Yeah, good. They, they sent back some, like, initial ideas. It should be next week we should have some sort of, like, actual, yes. like, stuff we can kind of check and say, cool. Yeah, we definitely need, you know. I, I need merch so bad. I've, I think I've given away everything I had at this point. Merch, yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll be, that's a podcast merch, so they'll have, they'll have uh, Biscuits and Tea, they'll have Wayable John, and then on the Shopify side, we will obviously have that going direct through. Okay. 
GoRebby.com. Get your sport tee. Uh, B team. Get your fucking sport tee. Let's go ahead and get a little shout out here to sport tee. I've been drinking it every day. I cannot wait, honestly. It's here. You know, I know you sent me, I think you said it was in transit. Yep. I know they got it waiting for me. Yep, it should be there pretty soon. Uh, really enjoy it. Very beneficial to my day to day. And if you don't drink it, then fuck you. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> get your sport We need to get that promo code active, though. We need to send a message so that all of our BT members can get a nice little discount. We need. Send them. We need to send them all the yeah. stuff that's been. Yeah, we talked about that. You know, yeah, yeah. let's. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's just get them that, and then we'll get we'll get things really really going for this this holiday season. If you need uh, some tea for the family. We got the they got the large packets. Maybe you guys want to if you want to add a little alcohol in it for Thanksgiving. Easy. Keep everybody up. You know, this is uh, not endorsed by Sport Tea, but just an <laughs> idea out there maybe for the <laughs> just something you want to do. I don't know. Do people do that still? Like people still having things like uppers and downers at the same time? Red Bull and vodka, uh, of like course. especially yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, you saying that about uh, sport tea, like saying, "Well, they don't endorse it." Uh, <laughs> it reminded me of this guy in the NFL, Ian Rappaport. He's an NFL insider. He got uh, banned uh, for doing a endorsement deal with a, the manscaping kit. Uh, yeah. The NFL, why the NFL didn't like that? They didn't like him talking about getting his balls shaved or whatever. I don't know. I, I'm trying to find it real quick. What? Yeah, they got pissed. Yeah, NFL now because the NFL because yeah, go go talk about some more deliberated concussions, uh, but don't. Yeah. <laughs> what they got? Go talk about this guy's brain. This guy, four different parts of this guy's brain moving at different speeds and tearing apart. Okay. <laughs> Did he say, did he say something like controversial or is it just Ian like, said is there he like was a thing that you're going to show a us? clean shave but he got nicked uh, and if oh it's a joke NFL Network's insider extraordinaire has been suspended because of an ad he posted on social media for a product used to shave your groin um, the NFL spokes NFL Network spokesperson declined comment the trim job will keep our court off until later in October so yeah NFL Network didn't like it. He said, I respect and understand the decision. What a fucking simp, dude. What a simp. What did he actually... What's the problem, though? I don't understand what the problem is. The, nobody in the NFL shaves their balls, or... You're not supposed to talk about it, Will. Oh, it, I it's see. It's a man's game. What are you talking about? Men don't shave their I balls. I see. Don't talk about things that happen every day, all the time. He apparently the perfect tool for your family jewels. Like, I don't get, like, what's wrong with that? Like, what is wrong with saying that, dude? I think that is sexist. I think they're shaming, they're shaming men for wanting to take care of their private parts, and I'm not gonna stand yeah. for it. Yeah, we're not standing for that, yeah. Manscaped. Are you, are you gonna boycott the games today? Take it, he's taking it off. <laughs> Yeah, I, love, I love how you say that in a in the NFL jersey. Yeah. How stupid is that? Oh, I don't man. get it. Like, like, are we, if we're doing something with the MLS and then we get uh, advertisement with manscaping and I'm on there and talking about how my balls are just so silky smooth, um, are we going to get in trouble? I, I think we'd get in trouble for this whole podcast, man. Yeah. For... Yeah. <laughs> Way yeah, yeah. before we get to No, that. but that's part of the thing. It's like uh first it's none of it's none of the NFL's business. Yeah. What this dude does with his balls or how he shaves them or how he speaks about them outside. He's not talking yeah. about the NFL. He didn't say NFL players should do this. He was even on the NFL's though, network. All those dudes that are involved with the major networks, they have all sold their souls. And we know that. And we we've met great guys and I, you know, but it's just it's crazy, uh, you know. It's crazy how like Pat McGaffey, like he like literally says in his like pr like pre-show thing or like some of his commercials that like you know I I purposely did not want to get involved with the big networks because you you just have to fucking sell your soul. The show can't be what you want it to be, and you're just strangle held and then handcuffs your whole career. No, obviously our our network like we could never take the Eleventh Commandment and go plop it on NBC. That's not going to be the idea because then they would go, well, you could tone it down, and Tyler's hair is getting a little long, <laughs> and we don't like Brandon's 
glasses, if we could get him some things, and Will's wearing a wave cap, and <laughs> drug addicts and drug people that deliver drugs, they, they use those things too, and do rags are bad. Like, they would just, like, we would be sitting there trying to talk about white walls and, you know, clean floors, and it would just be. No, you know, we'd be, we'd be, we'd be talking about the EPL games this weekend, and the MLS games, that's what we'd be talking about. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, we can, like, we. Yeah. Let's fucking scream I'm, about the I'm, MLS. Yeah, I'm down with that. All it just all has to be where we can actually go. This is shit. The stadium yeah. is shit. All that is sh- like have to be then, then, then great. Yeah. Because then it'll be interesting. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But and who is? Yeah, no one wants to. Hear I, I I really hope NBC that like stuff. media continues to shift in the way that like Pat McAfee is doing things and like, like Joe Rogan. I hope it really continues to go down that. That route because obviously that makes everything more enjoyable to watch. You get to listen and talk about things that you'd never get to talk about or hear other people's opinions on. It's just yeah. I I will say I think yeah. the NBA does a really good job with uh, Charles they Barkley, Shaq. Uh, no, they they say the most it's ridiculous good, stuff. On do they there. not have a choice though? They they all they don't they don't have no, a choice though. What? You can't fire. I mean, you're going to get rid of one Charles Barkley to bring in another black guy. He's going to be another black guy, right? <laughs> like, there's like eighty percent of the league is black or something like that. So, you know. But they definitely have some. They have some yeah. deal worked out where they can do whatever they want. It benefits them. Though. Shaq like makes fun out. of Charles Barkley for being fat all the time, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> you would never really. get away with <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Yeah, the NFL is this very like it's the NFL is like a country club type thing, which uh, I, I don't think I've ever been to a country club. Have you guys been to a country? club? I worked at one. You might have been to a country club. Yeah. Okay. I I nannied. I've been. I was in like one of the. I went to one of the. It's like one of the wealthiest ones in. See? Weirdest weirdest yeah, culture yeah. ever, dude. No, 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 no. This is, this is true. I need to understand. It's it's it's. I was young, but we were playing golf there. It's with uh, it was with my uncles and cousins who are all stockbrokers. Interesting. It's the way I would explain it is like if know. you were in it's... the like introduction sections of the purge, like the people that uh, do the gaming of killing people. It's all of those people just at a place, rich and talking about their rich things and playing golf, and they're snooty. Or they feel comfortable, obviously, because that's normal for them. But, like, did you feel comfortable? As a worker? There? Like, when I worked in the kitchen? No, I felt like a peasant. Uh-huh. I felt like a, really like someone that was just going around <laughs> and, like, delivering services. For, I mean, that's what you are, but you just feel a little bit more degraded. Oh, yeah, they tip the tip hell well? out of the waitresses that are super hot. But, you know, the guy who's making their fucking omelet before they hit the hole doesn't get shit. Fucking piss me off, dude. On Easter, we'd have to work for like eight hours straight to like get all the stuff ready, and we're out there like making fresh. And the hot chick walks out and literally carries like a coke to them, and she gets a three hundred dollar tip. And we're just sitting there like, okay. I thought kitchen shared. Not in my kitchen. Tips on there, yeah. But the not when they're well, those waitresses would like yeah. I'm. I'm almost positive the waitresses were having sex with the members. Yeah. I was like, it's like a prostitution. I know that, I guess people, I know that that happened before where like people would come in and like in the mornings, like they would get with members and then, you know, in the parking lot. Paid for that. Yeah. Yeah. It was part of like an unwritten rule for the country club or something like that. Yeah. It was always like super young, like college girls who were the waitresses and it was I yeah. see. You know, nothing out of the That's ordinary. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about that country club place. Like, could you see me in there, like, <laughs> going to be like, "Hey, what, what's up, Frank? Uh, How you doing, man?" Like, I would just be like asking questions. Like, so then you what? And then you did? I don't know. I would just be too curious. Right. I'm too curious. And like, in a in a genuine sense, I would just be like, and so you after you did that, you guys just dumped all of your waste into the. <laughs> into the river and you guys don't feel bad about that at all like i would just be like how did you guys do that uh, like well we made one billion dollars off of uh finding a quick way to you know extinguish yeah. that so 
I don't know. That would just be weird. Then I got, then I got my friend Joe here. He's in charge of yeah. completing yeah. the rivers. So yes. I have a nice contract yes. to come in yeah. and take all this out. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then the processing plant. Yeah. Will, you know about exactly. Milburn Country Club, right? I do not. It's in Novalum Park. It's Milburn Country Club. It's one of the bigger country clubs here. And all I want to do is be a part of Milburn Country Club. Right now. I'm being are you being serious? dead as fuck. Yeah, dead ass serious. Dude. It's called Milburn Country Club? Yeah, I tell people all the time that my like great-grandpa founded it. Oh, that is – oh, my God. B, you should have told me that earlier. I would have been pulling this ever, like all the time. I will go there and be like, uh, have you seen our videos? <laughs> this is uh, what Jackie Milburn's – Great uncle's son. <laughs> yeah, Mil and, Milburn. Uh, I'm friends with him. Milburn.org. Milburn Country Club. Yeah, right here. There you go. I, all I want to do is it exclusive? It's a private, super nice oh. country club. Super nice. 1970. Really? That's off 69th Street. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I'm telling Look you, dude, I want to be a part of this thing so bad. I think you should be able How to get a get membership uh, just because my last name is Milburn. And the account is private. You can't even look at their stuff on Instagram. One of the most inviting private club atmosphere, atmospheres in the Kansas City area and social events. Oh, my God. What would happen? Like, this picture on the front is uh, three three guys. There's the token. There's a token Asian guy who looks confused <laughs> to be there. <laughs> Like they're like, you got to stand in this picture with us and uh, you got to smile while I pretend to point at this thing and then we'll give you a few hundred bucks and you get the fuck out of the club. All right. <laughs> 1917. Like, what do you think would happen if I just showed up I'm bought and just tried to walk wait, in? Wait, like millionaires or billionaires? I'm like, if I ever can buy it, I'm buying this country club. You're going to turn it into some disaster. <laughs> you're going to let everybody, you're going to let the normal, let the normies in. Turd, turd each hole into a top golf <laughs> setting. So each green, each green will actually be like a I'm top golf setting. I'm building the weather setting. dome like a fucking Milburn Country <laughs> Club. Uh, yeah. Oh my God! Look at this. You imagine Dying. if we ran a country club? It would be the best country club ever. I would, I would uh, be controlling the menu. You'd be guys would be controlling the sporting <laughs> yes. events. Yeah, yeah, things we no, made. yeah, yeah. Social events, yeah, and, events. No, we could have we could have a lot of we could have a lot of fun. How would we make it exclusive? I think we could we could and should do something like that. We just make it like whoever gets in, you just get in, you get your membership for like a year, and then that's that's it. You're out. You, it should be one. You get one try at a crossbar. Like yeah, yeah. You have to try a year. If you hit if it, you you're in. If you can, <laughs> new <laughs> members get a chance at a crossbar. From 30, one crossbar chance. You're going to have guys training. You're going to have videos out on YouTube, people like studying the best methods on how to kick it. And like, you're going to have cheaters. Fucking, yeah, that's hilarious. That would be a great way. I can't believe you didn't know about it. Club. Uh, how, think about this, B. There's a night, there's a country club from 1917 where the members are probably 98. It doesn't matter though. I still, I still don't get to hang out with the elite. I know. I just figured people. like there's like people who walk around with their fucking country club shirts, obviously, and like as at me age at least, there was like people who all talked about what country clubs they belong to, and I'm like, yeah, well, I barely paid rent this month. Uh, <laughs> to live in a two bedroom apartment. And, yeah. No. Unfortunately, I don't know that uh, no black people, I was, no Hispanic people. <laughs> I don't know that I was going to be invited to that no. country club. No, no, no. So but anything with my name on it, it's going to be a, we're, we're going to have an inclusive environment. So when I take that thing over, we're going to have a nice balance. You've never been in there, obviously, because you can't get in there. No, they. But I found out about it because they had a big fire, and a oh. bunch of shit burned down. And then they rebuilt it. Sacrificing humans yeah. and whatever. They probably built the thing on a <laughs> fucking Indian burial ground, and it's, like, getting <laughs> yeah. hit with shit all the time. But, yeah, yeah. Melbourne Country Club. Yeah, I, I've always had a running joke that I tell people that my family owns it. And, people, yeah, just I'm keep gonna it going. You, yeah. you do realize, I'm going to tell people. I'm going to tell people that I'll be like, yeah, Brandon Milburn. And they're like, oh, that's cool. Like, you haven't heard of Milburn Country Club? Maybe you've heard of that? Yeah. yeah. And I'll just be like, it's yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna run with that. Bull Army's funded by the Milburn family. Just... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> is there a family behind this? Let's see. Who? All right, this should be our. Who, this can be our last yeah, thing. Owns. I think we're we're good. Milburn. Country Club. The Milburn Country Club. Two. Okay, it costs two hundred ninety-five dollars a month to have a locker. Just a locker. <laughs> to have a fucking locker. <laughs> Carry that What's in. that? You're gonna what? Carry it in? <laughs> I'm gonna carry everything. Yeah. In. yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time, big giant basket. <laughs> Are there guys in the country club that can't that, that shouldn't be there? Like they got invited because their dad or somebody like they know somebody, but they they don't have enough money to like do everything, so they're always bringing in like sack lunches and like bringing in lemonades and like making their own stuff like in the kitchen. <laughs> They got a big streak in their Gatorade bottle that's supposed to be <laughs> yeah, water. Yeah, it's not. It's all sorts of shit. I could imagine that. What a weird place. Okay, so you, you didn't find out if they um, are been backed by some family called the Milburn family. The Big Day at Milburn, Kansas City, in 1970, opens a club. I don't... I'm trying to understand which, which one of my relatives started it. Would you? Oh, they have weddings there. Okay, milestone reunions with friends or family. That doesn't really. So you think that. if I called? Yeah, I think you think if you think if I called and just said, "Hey, uh, I'm from Kansas City, and uh, I would just I would I'd just like to join." Just if you just called them, I bet they would act really nice. I mean, they're probably not doing anything very much now because of COVID, but like, I bet they would act really nicely and say they were gonna call you back and. Then they'll, they'll maybe even like they turn you down really nicely. Yeah, I think I bet well, it's like all like that. You I know, mean, I, we're not sure if you could really handle. Yeah, we're at capacity. <laughs> yeah, we're at capacity now, even though we're closed, <laughs> and we're always going to be at capacity for you. So. <laughs> 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 it's such a funny. It's always sunny. What's up? Uh, oh, yeah. They're trying to get. They're trying to get into. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. D and fucking yeah, that's funny. What were you gonna say? So let's try to get free memberships like through influencer partnership. And say we're gonna what, we're gonna run. Can you imagine our type of ads doing for that? It's absolutely not. Like I have never golfed in my life. I'd run out there. My decor, like the way that I would act on it's just. <laughs> I know I don't. I know why I've not been invited to a country club before. So yeah. Yeah. It's a good time, though. Hey, maybe we yeah. can make a case. Sure. I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, if they're all inclusive and they're nice and cool and they, you know, don't mind us. Oh, so you're not going to let him in because he's black? Okay, well, we're going straight to the media. We're going straight to our YouTube channel. If you don't let him in for a discount, <laughs> you're racist. Let's we'll play that whole card. <laughs> for a discount, too. We yeah, already make works. ourselves sound awful. That works. Yeah. <laughs> that worked really well. Yeah. That worked really well for Facebook. Yeah, it's and Instagram. Instagram. that's gonna come back to haunt them. I'm not letting that one go. Unfortunately, we get to we get to freaking twenty. There's gonna be a time where we'll be on NBC or something like that, and it'll be like that Kanye West, where he said George Bush doesn't care about black people. <laughs> George yeah, Bush doesn't I'm care gonna, about I'm black gonna just people. say, and Facebook doesn't care about. <laughs> just like in the middle of this, like uh, whatever, you know. You have to do it. You have to do it at some opening some exactly. uh, charity thing for kids or exactly. something. Exactly. Yeah, kids. and then I'll, it will have the transcript and everything all ready. Ridiculous. Well. <sighs> oh, can we hear B? I'm sorry. B. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. All right. All right, B team. That's the podcast. It's number twenty six. We should get a rush out on this. I don't even know if our editor is still here, a producer of this podcast. <sighs> Or, you alive? I guarantee T has some sort of, I just has some sort of <laughs> program set in to where he has his voice recorded like uh, Ferris Bueller's yeah. Day Off and whatever his it name is goes, said. It yeah. Just plays yeah, yeah. It yeah. Or it's, it, it's like set up to uh, whatever the last thing we were talking about, it, an automatic Google like search and, and present so he doesn't actually have to do anything when we say T Can you pull it up? And it just goes search. Trump, and then pulls it up. <laughs> you think you think it's set up on, on a like what a machine? Machine. Where it, 
what is the what's the machines called where it's all the random stuff that happens like the marble falls the uh, i don't know what those dominoes, are called is there a name for that those cut scissors for yeah i don't know well get your sport team sport team thank you bullerin.com whatever go chiefs b team patrick mahomes gonna take out the raiders today boom Go, oh, go Redskins, team. Uh, not the Redskins, sorry. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa. ouch. Let's get a... Oh. Whoa. Let's get an apology going. I would like to uh, publicly apologize for... <laughs> it's just saying... <laughs> yeah. It's a and long shot to the left field. Let's go. When, am I, when is that going to... How long does it take your brain to adjust? <laughs> It's it's so hard, dude. It's, it's so, so hard. hard. Yeah. It's I think it's easier for me just because of how ridiculous it is actually being a fan and having that happen. Ah, so man, one of these days I won't do it. I feel like I've been on a nice streak of not saying it, and then today I said it twice. I said it twice I, today. I think it's so funny. We predicted this though at the beginning of the year, Tyler. We were talking about it. No one was talking about it back then. And then, no. boom, a bunch of events happen. And then before you know it, we were trying to rename this team. That clip, we need to shout that clip out some more. Yes. We were trying to rename the team, and now here we are, and they're, they don't exist anymore. Did you guys ever come up with football team? It sounds like a name you would come up with. I think we were saying football team. Bad Have you missed. watched that clip again, man? I think, we've, I think we might have said Washington ball team. I think that's where it came from. That's why I still say ball team, not football team. Yeah. So we could change the title to we predicted. Predicted the Reds. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Predicted the Reds. <laughs> Send it to Pat yeah. too. All right. Well, B team, thank you.